So today we're driving the Maxxis Deliver 9. We've gone to Carland Dublin to see what this medium to large size van can offer. Maxxis are Chinese owned and what really sets this Deliver 9 apart from its competition is its price. We'll talk about that in a second but first let's look at the styling. So is it just me or does the front end in particular remind you of another quite popular van similar in size to the Deliver 9? Let me know in the comments what you think. Vans don't really need to look all that stylish but I think the Deliver 9 is as modern as a van needs to look with daytime running lights and that large grille. The Deliver 9 starts in Ireland from just under €23,000 excluding VAT and value is the main selling point of this van as it undercuts rivals like the Ford Transit, Renault Master and Volkswagen Crafter in price. There are various body sizes available, this one is the standard model in short wheelbase with the low roof. Which size you go for will depend on your needs. Two Euro pallets will fit in the back of this one. You've got an anti-slip floor and a few hooks and tie down points which are always handy to have. There is also the capability to add shelving back here with fitting points on the walls and roof. Max payload ratings vary from 1110 kg to just under 1400 kg depending on the vehicle body. Up to the front and the engine is a 2 litre turbo diesel. It makes 163 brake horsepower and 375 newton meters of torque. This van is also available with an electric powertrain and that may be worth looking at if electric would suit your business. Max's offer a 5 year 200,000 km warranty in Ireland which should put potential customers minds at ease. This diesel gets the job done, it's a tad loud but by van standards it's not too bad with a nice amount of torque to get you moving. Obviously the real test of torque would be when the vehicle is carrying cargo or towing a trailer. So this is a van not a car so you can't expect much in how it drives but it's actually not bad in fairness. It feels like your typical van from behind the wheel, the high driving position, you get power steering, a 6 speed manual gearbox and overall this is a van that is not that bad to drive and it's pretty easy to manoeuvre. Those parking sensors make reversing easier and a reversing camera is an option on the higher specs. The larger wing mirrors also make it easier to see your surroundings. This version is the entry level model so from an interior point of view you are missing out on the upgraded radio system but it still has Bluetooth, cruise control and parking sensors as standard. Another feature worth mentioning is the manual DPF regen button. What this aims to do is prevent the DPF from clogging up, a common problem for van drivers, especially those doing primarily shorter journeys like couriers. Build quality to me seems okay, nothing feels loose or rattly. The majority of plastics used in here are scratchy but feel hard wearing which is all you really want in a commercial vehicle anyway. If you can overlook the fact that it's not a Volkswagen or Ford badge on the front then the Deliver 9 can certainly offer those in the market for a commercial vehicle a capable and decent spec van for considerably less money than the bigger brands. I'm starting to see more and more Deliver 9 vans on the road so there are businesses out there recognizing the value this van can offer. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. But until the next one, thanks for watching. Deck of Cars.